Welcome friends. In this video, I am going to talk about a biological model organism which is called Cynorhabditis elegans or better known as C. elegans. Now you have probably heard this name many a times, but now it's time to know what are the features of Cynorhabditis elegans which is telling us uh, to pick them among all the rest of the different type of uh, biological species for our studies. Now let's discuss up about C. elegans. Okay. Now, first of all, what is C. elegans? It is an animal. Obviously, it's an animal. So, it's a model organism, model animal. And the C. elegans is a type of nematode. Okay. So, it's a type of nematode. So, let's, let me write it. It's a type of nematode. It's a type of nematode. Now, this nematode uh, C. elegans is having some important features. Those features are such importance uh, that they catch uh, the scientists eye to use C. elegans for different biological analysis. Okay. Now mostly the C. elegans nowadays are utilized for the study of gene expression and obviously the study of developmental biology during different time gaps. Okay. So we uh, vigorously use them for uh, the study of gene expression. Okay, and obviously utilizing using RNAi or RNA interference technique. Okay, so this is a very important part. Now, why we choose C. elegans? Now, uh, some important features about C. elegans. It is a type of nematode. Uh, uh, so, let me draw the structure of C. elegans first. So if we if we draw the structure of C. elegans, how it will be looking? It, it will look like something like that. So let's say here it is the place of its. It's simply it's a nematode, so it will be looking somewhat like this. It looks like this, and if I draw here, it comes the pharynx like that, and here we go. like this. And obviously we are having this type of fold like that. So if we draw the structure there are several points uh, in the C. elegans. So this is the mouth of C. elegans. This is the start point this is the mouth of C. elegans. So let me draw you draw here. This one is the mouth. Now here it comes the pharynx. Pharynx. This one is the pharynx. I am uh, coloring pharynx with this green, uh, this blue color. This is the pharynx. Now as these pharynx are coming in, this is the intestinal part. So it is the intestine, right? So this is intestine and from this part what we are having the reproductive system. This is rest of the part at the bottom we are having the reproductive system. Now in this reproductive system uh, layer what we are having here we are having oocytes. And here it is. And here we are having a kink like that. This is the position, it is called vulva. From this vulva, they lay their eggs. Okay, so these are the oocytes. So let me draw the cells also inside this. Cells. Like that. Okay. And here on, these are the eggs. This is egg. Okay. Now somewhere here at the middle, what we are having is 
sperma theca like that and this is also the region from where sperms are developed okay so this is also differentiated or having structures like that okay so and here it is this is a more or less the structure is like that and this is called the uh, this is also called the uterus this particular part is called uterus okay and these are called oocytes okay so this is the structure of a sea elegans now this is simply a nematode which is having a mouth part and obviously it's a intestinal system it's a digestive system and everything here and at the bottom at the end here what we are having the anus here we are having anus and here it, in this part we are having rectum okay this is the rectum and here it is the anus okay now the the different holes that we are getting in this body is three one is the mouth another one is the vulva and is the anus okay so these three are the openings inside uh, in, in this c elegans body okay now another important thing that we are looking at here is uh, that the in, o in this whole body or whole structure of C. elegans this is also male reproductive part so let me write it here this is also male reproductive part now the most important concept the most important concept about C. elegans is it is a type of organism which is carrying both sperm as well as egg this is very very unique so it, they carry both sperm and egg this feature makes them very very unique for the scientists to study because this kind of feature that means they can self fertilize so they can fertilize on their own they can self fertilize that is the biggest advantage that the sea elegans are getting okay that's why we are so interested in studying them the developmental biology especially okay and you can see in this picture by looking at this picture that the sea elegans are devoted maximum of their body part in their reproductive system that you can see from this part on and throughout this place is made for the reproductive system so the whole body they devote most of the part most of the organ system for their reproduction and they can reproduce itself on uh, itself because they are carrying sperm as well as egg that's the important point okay now the sea elegans typically most of the time they live in soil so they love to live in so they live in soil now what do they eat they they eat or they feed on to bacteria they feed on to fungus okay so they feed on to bacteria and fungi that's the important part of feeding so they feed on to bacteria and fungi live in live on soil generally and the most important part of all about the about choosing this c elegans is that the c elegans is again it's an eukaryotic organism but it is also having its own genome and it is seen the choosing for c elegans is one of one of the reasons so let me write the reasons here one of the reasons is that they are having remarkable similarity between their chromosome and our genome so the genome of c elegans is pretty very much similar to that of the human being or human genome okay so they are the genome is homologous to human that's a very important concept though the human genome is pretty large many a times larger than the c elegans genome but still there is a remarkable homology and from that homology what we can understand is that there must be a common ancestor because what we mean by homologs are that two individual two individual are homologous means they are coming from an ancestor so that's what it is meaning by looking at the genome of c elegans and obviously the c elegans is having only five pairs of autosome and one pair of sex chromosome so in total their genome complexity is also 
very less so they are simple simple genome so what we can do we, this genome can be easy to work with right so it is very very much easy to work with easy to work with another important uh, feature of this is that this C elegans can be manipulated pretty easily we can uh, maintain the stock or culture of C elegans in laboratory very easily now in laboratory what we can do we usually don't uh, grow this C elegans in soil instead what we do we provide a plate which is having all the materials all the food sources nutrients and onto the top of the plate we make a lawn of E. coli culture and then we try to grow this C elegans on those plates in, in lab we feed this uh, C. elegans E. coli cells okay that's important now what we can do for this C. elegans is that we can manipulate their genetic system or their genome system and their gene expression system using RNAi now this genome manipulation is pretty simply done for this C. elegans so let me write it here genome manipulation is easy easy genome manipulation now when I talking about this in easy genome manipulation what is that normally what we need to do if we need to manipulate the gene expression we need to provide uh, RNA or DNA or cDNA sequences or RNA interference sequences from outside to look for whether any response is getting in or not but using this C. elegans what we can do by simply feeding them bacteria we can insert the our interested gene segment into their body that's a very remarkable concept using C. elegans in most of the times what we need to do if we need to manipulate the gene we need to inject uh, that desired gene of interest or we need to infect them using different type of viruses and all uh, different pathogens so that our gene of interest is going uh, insert in their body and just placed uh, in the exact region we want but in case of C. elegans we can do this job by simply feeding them the bacteria carrying our gene of interest so what we design we design some specialized bacteria carrying our gene of interest which we need to transfer inside the C. elegans body then we feed the C. elegans those bacteria and after feeding them uh, this bacteria those gene of interest will go and insert into their body insert into their genome and it will interfere with their genome so that is a remarkable thing about C. elegans okay so these are the reasons for taking C. elegans as a model organism easy to maintain easy to work with and we also know the whole genome sequence because whole genome sequence already done so studying the genetic changes or gene expression uh, changes is very 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 uh, what you can say well explained and obviously we can use them for looking at the model organism which we, which can carry both the things fertilization inside itself on its own okay and obviously they are having a very short lifespan normally the lifespan of C. elegans is 2 to 5 to 5 days so uh, 2 to 5 days or 3 to 5 days is the or 3 to 6 days is the normal lifespan of the C. elegans depending upon the temperature because the C. elegans life cycle is temperature dependent that's very very important C. elegans life cycle is temperature dependent normally when we put them in 15 degrees Celsius temperature they grow for only two, two and a half days now when you put them in 20 degrees Celsius temperature they grow for three days uh, three, and a, three and a half days now when they put them in 25 degrees Celsius temperature they can grow up to five five and a half days and six days like that okay so the, the, for these features for these important features and extensive features we can easily use them easily grow them easily manipulate their genes we can look for different type of genetic changes and obviously different type of gene or different type of modifications different type of modifications during developmental stages by simply looking at them by simply uh, taking their part because they are very less li life cycle is very short so you can do the experiments vigorously so that's why it this these features make C. elegans is an ideal animal uh, subject for biologists okay so that's about the C. elegans in a, in a nutshell and in the future video we'll be talking about the uh, stru so structure I have already talked about this structure is a nematode structure just like a worm and it is having an anus at the end and here from from in this part it, it is having its own uh, digestive system and here it comes so it eats some food it, it goes from this part actually to travels through this region and it will 
out from this anus, the rest of the part out from the anus. And here from at this place, we are having oocytes, so it developed their egg from this direction. This is the male reproductive part, they develop sperm for this direction. So sperm produces and sperm come here, then uh, oocytes come here, oocyte and sperm fuses for the fertilization happens, then they lay their eggs. So these are the whole system of sea elegans. Very simple, very simple anatomy also. Okay, but this anatomy at which or which anatomy provide us both the things together, uh, the both the things like male reproduction as well as female reproduction together, we call them uh, different names. Okay, so from the in the next video we'll be learning uh, the uh, we'll be learning the uh, sex or uh, sex determination, and obviously we'll be learning uh, how they uh, control both these things together inside their body. Right? That means male and reproduct uh, female reproductive system. So we'll be studying the reproductive system in major, uh, vast majority because uh, this is pretty unique, right? So that's it, and I hope this video is helping you. Thank you.